Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to do super something super fun. We're going to be doing Etsy SEO for digital download prints. And we're going to go all kinds of places to figure out how we want to name them and how we want to describe them. But I have two gals who have let me use their um, shops. This is June Journal, and her name is Beth, and then we also have Dwella Mahoney Art, and Dwella is letting us use her. So thanks to these two gals. Now the way that, that Etsy SEO works is you get to use your title and your tags. Okay, so those are the only two places that Etsy considers in search. And the reason why you want to rank higher in search is because the more times you get seen, the more chance you have of getting found. So let's take a look at this. This is a pink flower thing. So uh, Etsy really loves to call pink blush. So I love seeing that, that she has it in there. And then we have wall art download, modern botanical print, and it is minimalist flower deco, boho nursery, Scandinavian design, print, printable monochrome pastel. Very nice. That is a lot of different words. And then if she's mixing it up, so let's see if she's mixing it up. So we have, uh, we don't have a lot of the fact that it's printable, di digital download, things like that. And one of the reasons why that really matters is when you go ahead and um, let's say we were to, that's a really cute one. Uh, say we were going to add it to Pinterest or somebody was going to save it for later. It doesn't really, it's not going to get shared on Pinterest as much in that digital download way because it, it does have printable, but it doesn't have any of the other words. So those, the, the sharing words for Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest come from our title. So it functionally cut off right there, right? We took the first number of words. Additionally, even though we're not doing Google, um, at SEO today, um, that same thing happens. Google cuts off after a certain period, even though Etsy gives us so many words, um, a lot of the other sites don't. So we want to make sure that we know how to get that as printable. Now, she wouldn't want to necessarily do it in every listing. That's one of the questions I get a lot. As we find these really great words, should you be using them in every one of your listings? And I say unilaterally, no, you should be mixing them up, especially with a digital download where that's going to stay there and just continue to be a good producer for you. Um, you want to make sure you do it. Now, you can put this in your materials. So she has it in wall art printable, digital download, instant download, digital print. And that's true, but that isn't any part of search. Etsy doesn't use that in the search function. So now let's take a peek at Dwella because we want to look and see how they're doing. Now, so far, both of these gals, I think, have done really well. So this is a hummingbird, modern wall art watercolor print. So she, it, she shows what the actual medium of painting is. Uh, bird print. So we have print twice. You don't get any extra credit in Etsy for, for having that duplicate. And let's see what happens when we go to post this to... So we got Hummingbird wa Modern Wall Art Watercolor Bird Print. Now, when you, when you do this yourself, you can edit this, right? You could say um, Digital Download. At Pinterest people like printables. We're going to, we're going to get there. It's not an actual word. Um, a lot of times it'll come up as, as wrong, but, but Pinterest people call them printables. Um, minimalist poster printable art, art. So she has art three times. So I would definitely tighten that up a little bit and let's see how her, her, oh my goodness. Okay. So when you're doing your tags, you can have up to 20 characters in your tags. So I would be stuff. It's called stuffing those tags, right? So instead of this tag being bird, I would have it be bird, birds, hummingbird, um, any other synonyms that people call hummingbirds, uh, that kind of thing. Painting. I would have painting, paintings, uh, 
print prints. So she already has prints up here. I think that's part of the the Etsy thing. Instant download bathroom decor. Isn't that fun? I wonder why. She must have had somebody buy it for a bathroom, which is what happens to lots of us, right? Um, and then one of the things that's really neat about Dwella is that her people send her pictures. Look at this. Look at that amazing picture. Now, that's something she could totally share on Pinterest. Um, okay. So the way we're going to find out what keywords to use is we're going to search in a lot of different places and get some ideas. So if we if we say printable in every single site, usually there'll be a drop down that starts to come up and gives you an idea. So if we look at at at, at Google, we see that printable artwork is a thing. So we're going to click on printable artwork and we're going to start adding that to a list of keywords we're going to keep for digital downloads. Okay, so printable artwork. That means that somebody can just get it and print it. So we have printable art on Etsy is the very first listing. So if you rank really well in Etsy, you're going to get a good chance of getting a lot of views because Etsy has that first listing. Um, so this is from Pinterest, so there's not um, not a ton of other things. And then 11 places to find free printables. Now you're going to be fighting with print free printables. Don't get nervous, right? Like, so a lot of people will offer a lot of stuff for free, but what you're trying to do is find your true fans that like your artwork and they're buying your vision, they're buying your style, your manner of painting or, or illustrating. And so that's fine. There can be free printables. We're selling regular printables. So we got lots of printables. Here's a sneaky one, best printable art. So best is always a good one um, that we don't always remember to use in our titles and tags. And then we have geometric printable wall art. And that's this, right? Geometric, so that's a very specific one. Geometric printable wall art. Now, wall art is a thing. That's one of the keywords that we want to do. And that's one that we have here that Beth is using. She's using wall art. So we're going to keep going. And I, and I get these little extra related keywords because I use a site called Keyword, or I use a plugin for my Chrome called Keywords Everywhere. Everywhere. Um, and you just add it, it's free. Okay, so we have that. We have printable coloring pages, printable kitchen wall art ideas. Ideas is really good for, I'm going to scooch this over so you can see it a little bit better. We've got a lot going on over here on the right. So we have kitchen, we have wall art ideas, right? So how would you use kitchen wall art ideas? If you have a printable geometric pattern that seems like it would be perfect for a kitchen, like, so I don't know why, but that really reminds me of a kitchen. I think these look like little stacked bowls. So that could be really cute in a kitchen. You could absolutely use that. Let's see if she had cool kitchen nursery. Look, good job. Good job. That's a really good one. Because to me, that really looks like um, that could be a good one in kitchen. And doing the search, we see that it's there. Okay, what else do we have? We have minimalist. So both of them have kind of a minimalist. Prints. So we didn't have prints yet. So now there's a thing about this that can get confusing. You want to be very careful and make sure that somebody knows that they're purchasing a downloadable printable, not a print, which is something else you can sell on Etsy, but we're talking about downloads today. Okay, so we have wall art, artwork. Do we, we have artwork, we have art, great. Um, Etsy wall art Prince, isn't that interesting? I don't know what I would do that. Uh, I would, see, I would do a little bit more with um, printable art Etsy. 
I would do a little bit more with this in another kind of marketing, trying to either do a blog post or a really strong maybe Google Plus post and see if I could get any of those keywords. But we're doing Etsy SEO today, so let's not get all out of, out of whack here. Okay, so we have minimalist, Etsy, wall art, prints, paint, cactus. So if I was doing this, and, and I like to take notes as I do things, I would do cactus just because it's coming up super high in the search. Now, there's not a ton of searches, 70 searches per month um, for free cactus printable, but cactuses and succulents, if you do if you do any kind of art with that calculus, cactuses or succulents, those are a thing right now. People love pictures of those. Okay, movie picture, printable art projects, decorate a large blank wall, printable abstract art. So we have printable abstract art. Interesting. Um, Scandinavian, I don't really know how to spell Scandinavian easily, so I'm going to just cheat and copy and paste that one and not make you have to, to deal with me doing that. Okay. Um, so those are all things that we want to do. Okay. So we also have, we have digital digital photo artwork, digital painting. So we're going to try, oh, if you're, a, if you're a photographer, I would definitely pull digital photo artwork because that's coming up pretty high in this little search thing. Now, let's talk a wee bit about this. So let's do digital photo artwork, and it can feel really, really, um, scary to say that only 10 people a month are doing that search, but what you want to understand is that when you do that, you get access to all these other um, digital art for beginners, types of digital art, digital art software. Digi it's not just that you're getting that one key term, you're getting access to lots of others. So there are a ton of results. Let's see what we I want to go more with digital download, digital downloads, Etsy. So that's a thing. This is going to be more how to sell them. And there, there's my other site. Nice. Yay. Can you sell? Yeah, that isn't the out. Okay. So digital download art prints. So then we want to make sure we have that digital download art prints. Perfect. And what's happening here? Uh, digital art for sale. Nice. High resolution. Oh, high resolution. People are looking for that. People are looking for that a little bit. Buy digital art images for sale files. So um, we may put that. So what I tend to do is I tend to put things in the title that are expressly related to that picture. And I tend to put things in the tags that are more specific to maybe the genre of it or the, the technical aspects of it that could come up. So printable art. Ah, artwork to frame. Love that artwork to frame that's that now that's really cool that's a little different because that's what people are doing art quotes people like art quotes um now i think we're getting high resolution there you go um and then we need to add our digital download and then also we have pdf printables I know it's a certain style or a certain file format, but people look for that. Okay, now we have some more things we're getting into. Best wall decor website. So now we need to get branch out into our wall decor. Perfect. Um, downloadable. We don't have downloadable. We have download. So let's put downloadable. Interesting. 
black and white. So black and white is a style people are looking for. It really is a style. Um, instant download. So we don't we have digital download. We don't have instant download. Now why would why would we say that digital download is different than instant download? Instant download is you're having a dinner party tonight and you want to hang a picture on the wall and you have a color printer and you know that you can crank that thing out and hang it on your wall. You want it instantly, right? So we really want to think about like the different people who are looking for, looking to buy your products. It could be anybody. It could be somebody who loves your artwork and just can't afford your original prints. It could be somebody that is looking for the perfect hummingbird picture to go um, like here or the perfect cow horse picture to go here but they don't really want to buy a print or they don't want to have to wait for you to send it. They know they could print it out and get this project done today. Um, it could be somebody that wants something, you know, perfect, you know, the perfect pink color for their bathroom. They just redid it. They want to finish it up. The people who are doing digital downloads are doing it for convenience. They're doing it for speed. They're doing it because they're, they're antsy and they don't have any patience. These are the people that are going to be doing your digital downloads. And that's important to think about why they're doing it, right? Um, okay, so I, th I feel like we've done Google enough. Let's go on to Pinterest. And let's do printables. Printable. Printable wall art is the very first one. So we have, print, do we have specifically printable wall art? I don't think we have specific, we have printable artwork. So now we need printable all wall art, right? That's a very specific term. So we're going to do printable wall art. We're going to see where we go from here. The nice thing about Pinterest is they're going to give you all kinds of ideas. And I love this um, because it helps me really do it. So bathroom. Okay. So now we can start to say, depending on what our, our thing is, we can say bathroom. You have office. Office is an amazing one. We have bedroom. So those are functionally rooms. Now, this is interesting because farmhouse style, because Joanna Gaines and uh, her show, can't remember, right, this income property? No. Um, but she, uh, she has glamorized farmhouse style. So if you have something now, we have for kids. Okay, so now we have another group of people for kids. And, of course, nursery and baby gift, I'll go in there with those, right? Um, and you might think, well, how would you know that? As you start to do this, you'll really start to know that some of these things go together. So when you're making a new listing, yes, you can do some specific things, but you can also just know some of your industry. All right, you could make vintage looking things that people would like that are still a download. Um, inspirational, we have kitchen. So let's head over to our rooms, kitchen. We already saw that stack of bowls that could be cool. Um, okay, now style is boho. So we have boho, which kind of bright, colorful, 1960s um, style teen. Oh my goodness. I have to tell you, it is so hard to find things for teens. I have one teen that's just getting ready to get out of her teens and one that's just going into her teens. And I, I, oh, please, please, it's so hard. Okay, now we have some styles of painting, right? So we have uh, boho and farmhouse, our styles of decorating, and then we have rustic, so we're going to start looking at those. And then we have abstract, which is an actual art style, right? Abstract. So if you have somebody who is looking for an abstract painting, and you're selling an abstract painting, you guys are a match made in heaven. You could have, um, you know, realism. You could have, I don't think you, I don't know that you could do Dali style, but you could do um, eclectic. You could do things like that. 
Okay, and then we have beach, right? So beach is a style. Floral. Okay, so we're going to go with that one pink art print. And we're going to say floral. She already has blush. And she already has pink. Okay. And then we have minimalist. I think we already got minimalist. Watercolors. Okay, so that's again the style, right? Or I kind of think of it as the style. It's the medium that you've painted in. So some people like that watercolor look. Some people like um, my father-in-law creates in pastels. Some people might like oils, right? Some people might like line art or illustrations. It just depends on what you like. And you can go down here. But so since we're doing, we're going to do that pink floral one, let's do floral and see, go down a little rabbit trail. So this is sort of what um what we have so we have some watercolor pineapple florals um i think hers would fit in here well so now what do we have we have free we don't want we have shabby chic which is a trademark term by rachel somebody and don't use it but you can use cottage chic and i'll put that down here let's see that would be in a style cottage chic Okay, we have decor. I think we already have decor up here. Maybe we don't. Wall decor. Perfect. Uh, free prints. We're not going to worry about that. Etsy. Vintage flowers. Bible verses. Design. Quotes. Watercolors. Inspirational. Graphics Fairy is a website that you can buy things. Typography. Poster. Love. Girl nurseries. Ooh, that's interesting. So let's sneak that in down here. So that's girl nurseries. Not girl nursery, girl nurseries. Oh, pink. So we found pink. Let's see what happens when we add pink. Okay, so I feel like her poster here, where's our, where's our pink flowers? Let's go back to this. I think that would fit in here beautifully, right? So we know we're on the right track. It would really pop off this page and be something that people are looking for. So now, wonderful. Let's see, we got to figure out what kind of flower this is. Does she say what it is? Because people seem to like the kind of flower. Oh. Flower. She just says flower. Doesn't say what kind of flower. Could be a daisy. I don't, I don't know flower. So, but you would know this. If you were the artist doing it, you would know it. Okay. So we have a billion different things that we can already get started with. And now let's go to the um, mothership. I'm just getting one last site up. So it loads while we're thinking. Okay, so if we said, let's go and look for art and collectibles. Let's see how they're, they're categorizing it first, right? And if we go over here, they don't have digital downloads per se. So these are prints. So we don't want prints, photography. So if you're thinking of doing yours as digital downloads, you want to start with like, they think drawings and illustrations are big. They think... Uh, you could use, oh, digital prints. Here we go. Digital prints is us. So that's good. So we know now digital prints is the thing that Etsy says, right? Um, and let's see what's happening. So these ones on the tops are ads. So they have, oh, cactus. I told you cactuses and succulents are very popular. Um, and then they have these be a nice human, photography. So we have a really nice mix of this. And a lot of times what will happen is Etsy will have that same thing. So let's do a search for digital prints. And when we do it this way, we get a lot more of these little boxes. This happens in almost every site. Now, 
Um, so we have digital print download, digital download, digital print download. See the difference between print and prints? Everybody likes to think, and I'll show you. Let's, let's look. Because everybody will tell you that print and prints don't make a difference, but they do. So we have, those are our paid ones. So we have um, forest, crystals, forest, eucalyptus. And here we have crystals, forest, crystals, but eucalyptus moved all the way down here and this guy moved up. So there is a difference between print and prints when you're doing your SEO. Okay, so kids, digital prints, abstract. Oh, digital prints, floral. Yay, that's us. For that, you know, if we're doing the uh, SEO for that one plant, we would want to have digital prints, floral, and we would want to try to rank for that exact term, right? Like hers is going to fit in perfectly here. And let's see if she's showing up. Now, just so you know, uh, Etsy is a lot more like um, Google now in that they, they do individualized searches based on your location, based on what you've searched before, based on what, you've, what your IP address is, all kinds of stuff, uh, people you've bought from before. So, but I'm not seeing her digital print come up. So that would make me, so she's saying blush pink wall art download I would start this with digital print, floral pink, and and like really, because this is a super high level um, digital prints floral, that would be the most aggressive keyword that I would try to rank for with this. And then the rest of your terms can come down from that. But what Etsy's saying with this is that people search for that, right? They search for these exact terms. Oh, I'm way far back, sorry. Digital print floral. They search for those terms very specifically. Um, and then we have pink wall art right here. And so I would definitely do digital prints floral, pink wall art, right? And then kind of go down from there. Oh my gosh, male nudity. Let's try to get that off of our... Uh, a little disturbing to look up and see a penis. Um, but let's keep going and see what we see. We will go back to... Let's see. We don't want digital paper. We want... Let's try digital download now. Download art. Digital download prints. Let's try this. Digital download art. And now we have paper. Nope. Digital download photography. Instant download printable art. So that's something that people are looking for. Um, they're looking because of price. They're looking because of the immediacy. Um, now, what I would do is, as I SEO'd each of these items, does this look more or less like the pink flowers? Looks a lot less like the pink flowers, right? This is almost all black and white. There's a lot of words. It is very graphic. We could do geometric, but I wouldn't try to get this to rank for instant download printable art because it's not like the others. So this is what I was saying. She's going to try to get the pink one to rank for digital. She's going to try to get the pink one to rank for digital prints floral. And then she has other things in her, in her site here. See, those are too, too, too happy. Let's see. We have 201 items. Um, that, this could maybe fit in. It's still not, well, that could maybe fit in very well. Oh my gosh, here we go. So that I would then try to get into the search for the instant download printable art based on how graphic and plain these things are, right? 
And so that's something that you really want to start thinking about as far as um, doing your SEO. Last but not least, I know <laughs> we're getting long here. I like to use Marmalade to figure out how to um, pick my main keywords and then the rest of them you can put in your tag. So if we were going to say we have some really good ones. I'm going to stick this over here because it's easier for me. Um, so we have Digital Prints Floral. Digital Prints Floral. And they're going to tell us exactly how many searches are being done a month. As soon as I hit pause, it'll come up. So there's only 50 to 100 searches a month for that exact term. But don't forget, we get all the other ones. Um, Midrain price, you can kind of check out your price. But this will give us some other ideas. So art prints, digital art prints maybe. So if we do art prints, oops. There we go. So art prints are, we're getting some really good searches. At least some of her stuff is going to fit in this. Now let's do digital because we have to be fair, right? Those are all the art prints of people who are doing that. Um, printing them out, having them printed. Now we've gone down a little bit, but that's fine. And, ooh, maybe Dwella's dogs would fit well into this search. We would want to take a peek and see how we wanted to do that. Okay, so digital art prints, floral. Let's see. I have a lot going on on my computer. I got another video processing. I've got tons of stuff going. Okay, so the searches are 50 to 100. I feel like she fits in here, right? It's, it's flowery. Hers is more minimalist. That's where people are going to be able to start filtering through. But so that makes sense. So what I would do is I would do this. If I was making a listing, this is my site with no, no listings. I have a digital download site where I get. Okay, so I would do digital art prints floral. And then I love her blush pink. Right, then we would do blush, and then we had, we already saw that there's an actual pink thing that, that people like. Where was pink? Pink wall art. Blush, pink, wall, and I would do artwork, because we already have art here, okay? Do we have printable? We don't have printable. Printable, digital, download. We have wall and art separately. That's fine. I feel like that's a minimalist, right? It's not very super fancy, so we'll do minimalist. Prints. Now, remember, we didn't have, we don't have, we do have print, so I would do minimalist print instead. Super, we're doing amazing. Um, we could put instant in here. Um, we could put instant down below. 
Now I feel like I really want to get into the actual, so she has flower is good. She doesn't have floral, but we should get flower in there. I like monochrome pastel, so let's do monochrome pastel flower. And we know that Etsy likes floral rather than flower, so we want to be careful of that. Now, that being said, this woman has sold a bunch of art prints, so I, I am going to take a little bit of her, um, her, how she's already doing it. You would want to look at your stats and see what you get. Now, I don't know that I feel like this is boho, but let's do nursery because I do think it's very sweet. And ladies who are pregnant will buy everything. They just will. Um, uh, let's take out nursery. We're going to do nursery in a wee little bit. Um, artwork to frame. I love that. I love because we have 16. I would I would get that in here, right? And I know I don't like to repeat, but I would do we have seven artwork to frame. Like I think that could really set you apart in some of the other websites. And then if we if I run out of space ever, I just delete a comma. Because you don't have to have commas. I just like commas. Because I'm lazy, because when I come down here to the tags, I can just plop them in, okay? So now, that having been said, you don't have to repeat them all. There is a slight value to repeating your main, main keywords. So digital, art, prints, floral. I would do art, prints, floral, comma, floral, blush, pink comma, do I, nope, there we go, and then this is going to, so see those stay together as kind of like join keywords, and the rest of them I don't care, I don't care, so we have printable, and then I might do another, do I have an, oh, I have artwork, artwork, uh, this is a watercolor, duh, in a water I'm a let's say it's a watercolor we have digital download we have these and they aren't very fancy so now I would go into a couple of things I would number one for sure June journal June journal because the search function for uh, Etsy for looking up stores is horrendous so make sure to put your store name as one of your tags and then I would start listing Nursery for kids, teen, tween, right? Uh, girl nurseries seemed like a thing. I would almost do that. Uh, her. We don't have gifts. Gifts. And then for her. And then we could do mom, maybe, right? Because you're always, my kids are always trying to find something for me. And then we have bathroom, office, bedroom. To me, this feels like bathroom. We already have nursery. Could be office, could be very cool. Um, we have the colors, pink. Is there another color in it? Nope, white, pink and white. If it was black and white, I would make sure to have black and white in it. But the primary color of this is pink. Let's see if this is another good tip. If you find anybody who has purchased it in your reviews, sometimes you can find some good keywords there. Um, okay, what else do we have over here? I don't think it's uh, beachy. I think it's cottage chic. Right? It has kind of that shabby, chic, old world. See, I just think it would be fun to try Etsy wall prints to see if you could force. Like I would do, and I do this, I, oh, best, we want best Etsy wall prints. Will it fit? It didn't fit. Etsy 
Let's see, we could do wall art. Best Etsy wall art. So it's ridiculous to have Etsy in your uh, in this, but people may be searching for that, or there may be a trigger in there. I wouldn't do more than one. I would try fun things and see, because what people will do is they'll come up here and they'll go best printable wall art. And they think they're going to get a list of the top. You could do popular. Um, so some of them are going to have best in them, right? The actual word best in them. But some of them are going to be just people who are looking for the best kind of wall art. And so that's a really tricky way you can do it. So hopefully this helps if you have, and, and then, you know, we have, I happened to pick one that was kind of a digital illustration, but if you were to pick one that was watercolor, if it was, you know, um, make sure you have all the different colors, the different styles that your artwork is and your, um, like the, the, the mode or the, the modality, the, the actual, you know, impressionalism and abstract and things like that so hopefully that helps if you like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up or to subscribe at the end and if you have any questions make sure to come to my website marketingartfully.com